Fred Grubb is known as the founder of the very successful roller coaster manufacturer Rocky Mountain Construction, or RMC. RMC is mainly known for their wooden coaster conversions, where they will design a thrilling steel layout that can be placed on the support structure of an old wooden coaster, allowing for much more intense elements to be done, such as inversions and vertical drops. While RMC built its business off of these wooden conversions, they decided to design a ground-up and fully steel coaster model. In 2017, RMC announced the Raptor Track. This model would use an I-beam shaped track, but rather than having two separate rails, it would use a single rail that both real sets ran on. Six Flags Fiesta Texas was the first park to buy a Raptor, and another one was announced shortly after. But this one wouldn't be at a park, but instead, the founder's front yard. Yes, a full-sized Raptor was being built in Fred Grubb's front yard. He said, It's eccentric, but I want to build it for my grandkids, and I wouldn't be in the business if my team and myself weren't a little eccentric. The coaster would only be used by Fred's family and friends, due to the land the coaster was going to be built on being zoned as residential, and also because of Fred's wishes. Fred's property was right off of Highway 95 in Athol, a city in North Idaho, and this caused the nearby residents to worry about the coaster causing too much noise or being an eyesore, but Fred added that he owned most of the land surrounding the coaster so the noise wouldn't be an issue, and also that he would paint the coaster to blend in with the area. Also stating, I don't want it to be intrusive. I want it to look nice. It will be a form of art. Fred said that the coaster would stay on his property for a few years, but it could be sold to an amusement park later. And that's all the information that we have. The coaster was never built. It was probably cancelled due to a multitude of reasons, but we really have no way of knowing. But North Idaho didn't have to wait long to get their own Raptor coaster as only two years after the cancelled Front Yard coaster was announced, Silverwood, an amusement park only a few miles north of Fred Grubb's property, revealed Stunt Pilot, a Raptor coaster that had a modified version of the layout that Fred's coaster would have had, and it opened to the public in 2021. If you owned a roller coaster company, would you build one of their coasters at your house? Let me know in the comments. All sources and videos will be linked in the description. Thanks for watching.